Hey guys, welcome to this extra video. I've been promising that I'm gonna make this video and today is the day. So today I wanna tell you guys what animals we plan to get for this year's summer season. So I'm gonna start in the chicken coop, um, go to the goat barn and then go back up to the horse barn so that I can cover every single animal that we plan to get. So you guys know, Sylvie and I are the animal lovers in this house. Gabby loves her horses and her dogs. Sam loves, what do you love Sam? Sam wants a cow. I want a Highland cow. A Highland, a mini Highland cow. He's wanted that his whole entire life. I'm not joking, they're super popular right now. I think it's definitely gonna be a possibility. Not for this season though. So I think some of you guys are gonna be surprised by the animals that we are gonna add to our chicken coop area. This is something that we've never done before. We've always, actually that's not true, we have done it before. We did it a lot when Gabby was like four, but we haven't done it in during the vlog, the history of our vlog. So. Um, this is what we're gonna add to our chicken coop. You guys know that Sophie loves her chickens, loves them, and I love them too. So I've let Sophie kind of take the lead in the whole chicken area. And what she wants to add to our chickens this year, she wants to get Polish chickens. She loves them, I love them too. And she wants to get a silky rooster so that she can breed her silkies. So silkies are really popular right now. They're a really docile breed, really gentle breed. You can have them anywhere. Like they're quiet and easygoing and so easy to take care of. I find them personally a little less hardy than the other breeds. Even the Polish I find a little less hardy, but she is in love with those two breeds, so she's gonna get those. She's probably just gonna get a rooster of the silky, and then she's gonna probably get um, a rooster and a hen for the Polish because she wants to breed them. Um, but to make that work, we're gonna have to sell off a bunch of our chickens. You guys know we hatched a lot of chickens over the winter so that we could have laying hens this summer, and she plans to sell a lot of those to make room for her new chickens. So the other thing Sophie wants to do, and this is a big one, this is something we have never done before. It's This is huge. Sophie really wants to get quail. Have you guys seen quail? They are the cutest, tiniest little, things ever and they are so adorable and I want them too. I want them too, but I am worried that they need very specific accommodation and we're not quite there yet. We do plan to do some renovations on our chicken coop this year, so I don't know if Sam can like figure out a way to make that work. So I'm not gonna guarantee that we're gonna get quails. In Silty's mind, it's already said and done. She's getting quails. I want quails. Oh. I love them. Another thing that I definitely do want to add to our chickens this year is guineas. I have loved those things for so long. They are adorable. They are tick eating chickens. Guinea fowl eat ticks by the dozen all day long and they are so noisy but I love the sound of them. Like they roost in trees. They, I, oh, I love them. The thing I don't love about them is that they like to travel far and wide to find all those ticks and so I think that we have a way that we can keep them safe but they do tend to be annoying in the fact that they lay their eggs all over the place and you have to literally go searching for them but I definitely do want some guinea they are so 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 cute they just are uh, the most adorable little things ever obviously our chicken coop is going to be especially full this year um, with all of our additions but Sam and I definitely want to do some meat chickens we want to raise our own meat we've done it before when Gabby was a little girl um, we processed them ourselves and it was super interesting it's so worthwhile and so fulfilling to us to be able to eat the things that we grow on our farm and I know a lot of you guys will be against that and think that it's horrible and what I said to my sister when we were talking about it is that I'm gonna give them the best couple of months of their life. They will be the happiest, healthiest little chickens before they we have to say goodbye. They won't know that they're saying goodbye, only we will know that they're saying goodbye, and we will be incredibly thankful that they gave us food. And adding with that, we also wanna do a couple of turkeys. So you guys, I don't know if you guys know about turkeys, but turkeys we've never done before, but I've always wanted to do them because turkeys are so incredibly sweet they bond like crazy obviously we're gonna eat our turkeys we want them to eat so i don't know how that's gonna go i'm open to keep a turkey if i bond really closely with a turkey then obviously we're not gonna eat it but we do want to do a couple of turkeys for the fall you guys are probably wondering like where the heck are you gonna keep all these fowl laura well you guys know our chicken coop 
how it has one side that we have the chickens and then the other side Sam has a bunch of stuff in there. So what we're hoping to do this spring is to clean out all Sam's side and make it an extension of our chicken coop. So we'll essentially have two different coops, probably keep the turkeys and the meat chickens in one coop and then our other chickens in the other coop and they will also be free ranging. So, so that is our plan for the chicken area. I really want quail for Sophie. I really want quail for Sophie and I think we can manage it. There's, there's so much room. One of the biggest reasons we moved to this farm is because there's so much room on this farm that we can just build on and just grow so much. And so I think we do have room for quail. I just want to make sure that they have exactly what they need and I don't think we're going to have time to build all that and make all that this summer because we have so many plans. But we're gonna see. All right, so let's move down to the goat barn. All right, so you guys know that our duck and our goose are housed in our goat barn, and I think that they're probably gonna end up staying down there. I love them down there, and I feel like they're safer down there. We love our duck and our goose so much, like so much. They're so, we are so attached to them, and I never thought that a duck and a goose could could bond so strongly with their people as the way um, the way that ours have. And so we wanna add to that. We don't wanna go crazy though. We wanna make sure we have enough room for them. We definitely want another, we want a goose for our gander. We have a gander, we just have one gander right now. That's a male goose. Um, we want a girl for him. We want a goose for him so that he can mate with her and so that we can get the egg. And then, then she wants to get a drake, which is a male duck, um, a Pekin drake for our Pekin duck. So she wants to have, we wanna have two mated pairs. So we wanna try and branch out and get another breed of duck. So we're gonna get eggs, I think a dozen eggs I've ordered, and we're gonna hatch them out ourselves so that, because ducklings are so cute, as soon as they see you, whoever they see first is kinda who they think is their mom. So um, she wants to hatch them out. We will sell whatever ones we don't end up keeping, but basically we want one, goo one pair of geese and then we want two pairs of ducks. So I don't know how it's all gonna work out, but that is what we're hoping for the duck and the goose. But also in an addition, Sam doesn't know about this yet, so be prepared, but we have got a pig. We're getting a pot belly pig, um, just a small pig. I don't even know if it's a pot belly pig. It, my sister has this pig and she's been dying for me to take him because he's really hard for her to keep. She doesn't live on a farm and she, he is so trained, he thinks he's a dog. He lives like a dog, he acts like a dog, he loves people, he loves his people, he's so cute. Um, I wasn't ready for him last year. We definitely want to breed baby pigs because Sophie and I love baby pigs. So we are definitely getting a pig and I have plans for him down in the goat bar. I don't know if we'll get a girl for him this year. It might be like a next year thing. Same as the quail might be an extra thing. So I'm not sure about that, but we are definitely getting a little pig. You guys know how much I love my pigs. Over at the Pasofino farm, my friend that owns the Pasofino farm, she has a pig and she always is raving about him, her. And I love their pig. I love just being around it. It's the cutest little thing, just wandering around the farmyard. So that's like one of the new things that we will have on our farm that we've never really done before. I've my sister had potbelly pigs growing up for years and years and years. They weren't mine, but we I was around them. So it's not something super new to me, but it will be the first time I personally have had a pig and I'm excited for him. He's gonna be amazing. Okay, so moving on to our goats. Our goats have gotten out of control. I don't know if you guys were around at the time last summer where Sam woke up one morning and he said, ah, I'm gonna get some goats and he did. A few weeks later, we came home with five little goats. And we have been loving them. They are hard, so much harder than horses. I spend so much more time with the goats because they are so much work. They require a lot. They're like babies to me. And uh, Sylvia and I just love them. So in terms of goats, what we will be adding to our farm this year is that Sylvia's gonna be getting a registered doling. I've already sort of booked her. A friend of ours has registered goats and I love her goat. She has amazing quality goats. In fact, our buck came from her farm. The buck that we use came from her farm and he is the most stunning goat. Like I even showed a picture of him to my friend the other day and she said like, there are no cute bucks. And then she saw his picture and she said like, wow, he is so cute. He is so friendly, 
so sweet such a good buck like he is probably my favorite goat that we have right now so um I'm, we told her that the goat that we love that she has is a specific goat that sophie is in love with um if, if she has a doling that we then we want her so even if she doesn't have a doling sophie is going to be getting a registered doling this year so that we can breed to a registered buck so that we can make registered goats that's the route that we want to go for a lot of reasons so if he wants to get into showing goats even i want to get into showing goats it's been a lifelong dream for us so she's getting one registered doling and i don't know if i'll end up getting a registered doling too it just depends when we go and visit my friend's farm what she has i don't know we are definitely getting one or two registered dolings this year that's the way we that's the way we want to go with the goats so also you guys know we're going to be having baby goats soon that's my washing machine washing machine in the background it's making the whole wall shake <laughs> so you guys know that we're having babies we are definitely going to sell some of the babies that we get and we also plan to sell probably two of our goats yeah probably two of our goats because we when we bought them we didn't realize that they weren't very friendly we thought we could make them more friendly and they're not horrible they're really sweet little goats but for what we want because we plan to milk our goats we want them to be able to be handled our one doe is so dominant that even just trying to milk her or touch her udder or even put her on the milk stand is so hard she's so resistant so she's probably not going to work out for us and in the end it just makes better it just is a better business decision for our barn we want milk we want we don't want to keep a ton of goats because it gets really expensive goats are really really expensive <clears throat> the dog just did a big sigh she's like oh, just shut up but she's deaf so <laughs> so we will likely be saying a goodbye to one or two of our goats and some of our babies i'm not going to promise that <laughs> for sure because sophie has a heart of gold and it would be excruciating for her to say goodbye to anybody and she already is telling me that we're not selling them but I think when she sees the babies and that they are very, very friendly, we're going to work hard to make them friendly. Um, and I think she probably will agree if it comes down to getting rid of a baby that is really well handled versus one of our original goats that is not very well handled. So hopefully she, she understands that that's something that you have to do. Those are hard choices that you have to make when you're on a farm. Like you can't keep all of the animals you just can't i saw a comment the other day that said that we we're getting too commercialized <laughs> because i said that we're going to possibly be rehoming two of our goats and the truth of the matter is is that nobody can just keep all of them i don't know for the sake of our goats and, and my mental health we have a certain number of goats that we want to stay under we don't want to get too many goats i want to keep them at a nice number that it's something that i feel comfortable with and and unfortunately that means probably selling some so one new goat for sure and possibly two also our buck will be leaving at some point um if he does go at some point then we'll be getting a different buck all right so that is it for the goat barn i think i think that's it for the goat barn like we don't want to have a ton of animals i like enough animals that keep us busy but that don't make us overwhelmed so uh lastly i'm gonna go to the horse barn if you guys are following because of our horses then you're probably the most interested in this you guys know we need two new riding horses we need them like we have two riding horses now we have three riders and i just don't think storm is going to cut it for a lesson horse for what the girls want to do so we need two new horses i don't know when they're coming i'm leaving it up to god i am just now being able to talk about chino's passing i'm just now being able to like think about him and think about you know filling his stall and just like moving on and it's just it's taking me this long it, it's it I'm just now starting to be okay with it I Gabby and Sylvia are ready for new horses winter is really hard for us Sam and I talked about it like going out there to try the horses in winter is hard going out to like bring them home and drive them into lessons and it's just all really difficult so we are letting god help us choose we're letting god i watch for horses i you know i'm open to it but i believe that god will send us the right horses when we're ready but this summer we hope to have by then two new horses on our farm so that is it i think that's it we're getting a new grandbaby this year <laughs> so all the animals that we plan to add to our farm this year 
um, comment below if you think that there's something that we would like that we haven't listed, something that you think that would work really well on our farm, or comment any words of caution that you think um, we're gonna get in over our heads with like people said goats are hard goats are hard We knew we always wanted goats I have been reading about and studying about goats for so many years loving them and wanting them even before horses I liked goats and People said don't get them they're hard, but I knew we could handle it and we can handle it, but they are hard They're definitely hard. Holy heck. I am run ragged with them and I am worried about them all the time and just keeping up with their Nutritional needs because they need so much more than just some hay and some grain. It's just wild goats are wild So comment below what you guys think are you surprised by any of the animals that we are getting this year that we're adding? Comment below and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching don't you know that you're beautiful?